Hi, I'm Jay Burns. This is Dallas, Texas, and uh, it's May the 2nd, and uh, I'm going to be selling my uh, Titan uh, trailer uh, that I'm uh, going to upgrade to, and uh, I love this trailer. I've used it uh, on about uh, four or five trips, it's, but I, and I love it, but I've got a new son-in-law, and I need four more feet, so I'm going to sell this, uh, and it's essentially uh, in mint condition. Uh, we had some add-ons that we did ourselves, but this is a Titan trailer. They're the best you can get. They're not aluminum. They're stainless steel. You can't cut through this with a pocket knife. This is a heavy-duty trailer reinforced with some, uh, and then we've got an upgrade to the tow packet, uh, the, uh, the hitch. It's a heavy-duty hitch. We've got a generator that is uh, locked on to the uh, frame here, a custom uh, well. So when we're going down the highway, we've got this vented. And we've driven this all the way to the western states without any issue with it running all the time, running our refrigerator and our freezer uh, inside. So, uh, standalone system, we can take this off, and I'll show you the generator at the end. But again, it's a great trailer. We've got an extra uh, fifth wheel here, a full spare that hasn't been used. Uh, the tires are in great shape. Uh, it's a dual axle. These are uh, uh, 5,700. Uh, uh, Upgraded axles. They're dual. Uh, they're, the, they're, the, they're the upgraded axles for this uh, trailer. It's got nice touches where you can pull back, lock onto the door, and then I just backed my uh, uh, Viking off. And I'll, we've got the LED lights. And for that reason, we've got a seven-foot extension on the trailer. This is uh, seven feet uh, tall here. So that's an extra uh, add-on, and it's six foot eight rather than six. We've got these ramps that uh, we put a custom weld on ourselves, so we can just put these right under here and latch on with the pin. As we step up into the trailer, we're bow hunters. Rifle hunters could use it equally as well. But uh, we pull our Viking up in here, and we've got four uh, D-rings uh, in the floor. This is a tongue and groove. We upgraded the flooring. It's usually three-quarter inch plywood. This is a tongue and groove floor uh, that we then came in and rhino lined. We can come in and power wash this, get it muddy, and wash it out at the end of the season. Uh, a very sturdy, upgraded floor. Again, tongue and groove. Uh, two by sixes underneath uh, the Rhino liner. As we step into the trailer, uh, we've got full electrical. Uh, we can plug in, I'll show you at the front, we've got plugs in the back. We've got uh, plugs in the front for our freezer and our refrigerator. Right now, if I don't need it, and I don't have meat, I use it for storage. Uh, this can be for storage, but when we're going out, we have all of our groceries in there. We don't, we don't, it cuts down on ice. It's been a fabulous uh, addition. The other thing that we added is we've got a rod that runs all the way across. We can hang our uh, clothes, just put clothes up there. And uh, when we come in and take the Viking out, we simply take this uh, cabinet, I'm uh, shelving. Put that on there. We can set all of our all of our uh, equipment that we need here, and our gear under here. And we can do that on both sides. Again, hanging everything here. We hang our bows right here. We've got four bow hanging loops right here. Hang our packs, whatever you want to hang. And again, we've got full story where we full uh, uh, length where we can hang clothes uh, or shirts back in there. Whatever you want. These lights that are on right now, you can't tell them the daylight, but they're on when the trailer lights come on. Uh, we've got a full AC and heating unit that works uh, uh, fully well. Um, the goal is to get some of these with uh, an animal on them. Um, then we've got the light when it's all hooked up to the generator, or we've got a 110 hookup and a 220 hookup. And these lights turn on these uh, incandescent lights and they're very, very, uh, uh, I mean fluorescent lights and they're very very bright in here uh, again we've got the D loops here on the back and the front that we can then lock our, our vehicle down 
and then we can pack around it, and it's it's fantastic. Uh, we've got a, a breaker box. We upgraded the electrical, as you can see. We can run it off a 220, a 110. We've got uh, uh, an individual breakers for the air, the lights, and all the plugs. Uh, there's a 30 amp and a 50 amp. We run the refrigerator, the freezer, the coffee pot, the air conditioner. We've not had it be a problem. Uh, I suppose it could be, but we've never had that, and we've, uh, we've run it pretty hard. So if we'll step through here, uh, it's just a great hunting vehicle, a great place we can, we can uh, do. I want to say one more thing. We're going to step back out. I want to show you one more piece on the back of this. And that's right up here. We have these lights. They're 500 watts, and they, they light up everything behind the trailer uh, when your Viking comes in. So you've got great lights behind. Uh, to load and unload and pull your vehicle up at the end. It's been a, been a great uh, hunting. We use it in Kansas. We use it in the western states when we go traveling hunting for elk. So as we walk through this, you'll get a sense. This is a 14-foot a, a, a trailer. And uh, we haul our uh, ATV in it and then use it as our hunting camp when we get there. And as we come back out, uh, you can see uh, we're back to the generator. We've got our generator here that has a, uh, a 110 and a, and a uh, 220. And right here, we've got a 220 hookup and a 110. So we can hook up if we're next to a house. We can hook up if we're in an RV park. Um, uh, either that way or if we're going down the highway, we can hook up to the generator. It's all self-contained. We can put our meat that we kill uh, and take it all the way back from uh, the western states, Nevada, Utah, New Mexico, and uh, get it all the way back to Dallas uh, in good working order. So I'll be selling this and listing it. If you have any questions, you can uh, call me. Again, my name is Jay Burns, and uh, thanks for listening to the video.